our offering is for Vacation Bible School, and so we would uh, offer you would prayerfully consider your giving there. Uh, we're going to have congregational prayer and then the offering, so um, I think you guys are done for now. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. That's wonderful. Um, for congregational prayer, there are a couple things I want you to uh, be aware of, um, and that is, uh, first of all, I want you to be aware that Hank, um, Hank Bowers has gone to the hospital uh, on Thursday evening, uh, feeling uh, quite disoriented and confused. Uh, he was quite dehydrated. Um, he was seemingly doing a bit better, at least on Friday, uh, but he is still quite confused um, and so is still at Brockville General Hospital. They are still, I understand, restricting visitors to some degree, so only two people. Yeah, so, so unfortunately, uh, you won't be able to go visit uh, them, uh, go visit Hank at this time, but please do uh, be in prayer for him, hoping that uh, soon he will be feeling much better and be able to be home. But yeah, pray for him in the meantime. Also, uh, we got a note from uh, David and Yvonne. There are a number of things uh, for prayer uh, for them. First of all, thanks and praise. Many of you have heard that David and Yvonne's grandson, Rowan, uh, was really struggling. They didn't realize um, at all, they didn't know that he was diabetic, and then it came out, uh, unfortunately, in a difficult way that he is, uh, he is indeed uh, diabetic. Uh, last week, Monday, he went, uh, Rowan went into diabetic ketoacidosis, um, and the family, yeah, didn't know before, but he is doing much better now, um, and the family is learning how to live with that new reality. So uh, please continue to pray for them. Also, um, please continue or pray again for the Reed family. This is um, David Morgan's sister uh, died just this last Tuesday. And so we extend our condolences to you, David, and to Yvonne and to the rest of the family. Uh, she had been battling bile duct cancer. Please pray for her husband, Art, and daughter of Abia and Alana um, and their families. Also, praise God that Rosemary was a believer and she is now in heaven with the Lord. And so we uh, pray for uh, that family for you as well. Also, obviously, we want to thank God for all Ontario. We want to pray as well uh, for Jessica and Riley. Um, Jessica DeYoung, Riley Bonk, they got married, so now they're both Bonks. Um, <laughs> I'm sure nobody's ever made fun of his last name before, but, you know, DeYoung is a little weird, too. Yeah, especially considering how old some of you are. <laughs> sorry, that was bad. That was really mad. I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, so um, pray for them as they married life together. It was a beautiful, beautiful time yesterday celebrating their love and the wedding. Also, we want to uh, pray as well for uh, Williamsburg, for Community Christian Reformed Church in Williamsburg, and for Greg Lawson uh, and Joe Grunewald as the pastors there, just as we pray for the churches in this classes on a regular basis. So, let us come to God in congregation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's like super important. I wrote it down, but not in the same place I wrote the other things down. So a uh, little bit of news about Tina's situation with regards to immigration. Uh, they have been told that their, uh, the forms that they had submitted most recently would take like five months for them to uh, start to like get that going and, and hear from them. But it ended up being so praise God, God for that. Yeah. yeah. So um, it does not mean that the process of her immigration is done by any stretch of the imagination. She has to start jumping through other hoops. But the process is going, and we are so very, very grateful for that. And they, uh, they praise God for his miraculous answers to prayers 
and uh, pray, crave our prayers uh, as that process continues to move forward. Amen. Thank you for the reminder. All right, let's come to God in prayer now. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much that you are with us and that you have heard us and all of these prayers that we have mentioned just now. Oh God, we pray that you will be with each and every person we mentioned and with all of us truly as we go through our days in this coming week. Oh God, would you please in particular be with Hank. Lord, we pray that you will be with doctors and other healthcare professionals as they care for him. We pray that he will be able to come home soon. We pray too for Williamsburg Christian Reformed Church, for pastors Greg and Joe. We pray that you will pour out your blessings upon them as they continue to minister in their context. Lord, we pray as well that you will be with Riley and Jessica as they start their new lives as a married couple. We pray all God's blessings upon them as well. We thank you so much, O oh God, that you have brought Rowan through the initial realization of his diabetes and that you are helping the family to adjust to this new reality. We pray, we pray very much for them and their future as they move into this new realm. We pray also, O oh God, for David's family. We pray for Art and for Avia and Alana as they grieve the passing of their uh, wife and mother, Rosemary. We thank you so much that she loved you, O oh God, and that she is with you. And we pray, O oh God, for comfort for the whole family. Lord, we pray too that you will continue to... Uh, grow the seeds that were planted to, through the All Ontario Youth Convention. And Lord, we pray too that you will continue to bless Ray and Tina. We are so grateful, O oh God, that there has been movement far sooner than any of us humanly would have expected and that you clearly, miraculously have worked uh, to, to provide movement there. Lord, we pray that that movement would continue in a positive direction and all of the worries and concerns there would evaporate like dew in a beautiful spring. Lord, we pray too that you will be with VBS this year. May we have a wonderful and, Lord, relatively normal VBS. May we be able to to share the good news with the children of this community in a wonderful, wonderful way. We pray that these, our tithes and offerings, would be pleasing in Your sight. And we pray, O oh God, we pray, O oh God, that many would come to know You too. And Lord, as we come to the Scriptures for this message this morning, we pray that You will um, keep us relatively comfortable in the warmth. And we pray even more than that that you would open our hearts and minds to hear what you would have us hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.